Welcome to A Minute for God. So let's take a look at the source of temptation. We can see this in James chapter 1, verses 13 through 14, which tell us, And remember, when you are being tempted, do not say, God is tempting me. God is never tempted to do wrong, and he never tempts anyone else. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. There are four truths about temptation we can pull from these verses. The first truth is that temptations are inevitable. Look at those beginning words from verse 13. And remember, when you are being tempted. The Apostle James doesn't say, if you are tempted, but when you are tempted. The second truth is that temptations are not from God. Friends, don't even think for a second that God has anything to do with your temptation. Even after losing everything, we can see how Job reacted to all of this in chapter 1, verse 22. In all of this, Job did not sin by blaming God. The third truth is that temptations are universal. Verse 14 tells us, temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. Did you notice the our and us? That's in the plural, not the singular. Every one of us faces temptations. The first book of Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 confirms this reality with these words. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. Now the fourth truth. Temptations are personal. The first part of verse 14 says temptations come from our own desires. Temptations are tailor-made to trip us up. So remember, the source of those temptations are not from God, and they are inevitable, universal, and personal. 